We are going to try a quick little experiment with our Tesla and see how well we can make ice cream with it when we're out in the mountains or in the middle of nowhere and we don't have any source of electricity other than the car. Can the car handle uh, the load that the ice cream maker will put on it over the course of time it takes to make ice cream, which in this case is usually around 45 minutes or so. Uh, it's, a, it's about 95 degrees out, so it'll be a test that way for the salt or the ice as well. And I'm going to be powering it with the 12 volt uh, socket that I have in the back of the car that I wired up to the uh, 12 volt deep cycle battery that's in the front of the Tesla. Let's get started. We have it half full of ice cream. You can't really see in there probably, but I'm going to be adding more ice in just a minute. But that's all we have at the moment. And you can see the ice cream maker is being powered by the Tesla. Currently it's pulling 47 watts. And so I'm going to be measuring what the peak of the wattage is. And then I'm also going to be checking the um, kilowatt hours that it pulls over the course of this whole batch. This is being powered by an inverter here. It's an old inverter I've had for many years. And then this is the cigarette lighter splitter that I installed and it's being powered by the car's deep cycle 12 volt battery up in the front of the car. And you can see the voltage right there on that battery is currently 12.6 volts. So going through the inverter though, that 12.6, 12.7 volts right there is being translated to 120 volts, which is good. That's what it needs to be. And then it's pulling uh, 840, um, 840 milliamps, 834. So we'll continue to monitor this and see how well it works. The ice cream has been churning for 20 minutes now and it's still pulling about 47 watts, 48 or so. And uh, this really hasn't shown any signs of weakness or hesitation. I have added extra ice now so we're up pretty much full of what we need because this thing is only half full of the cream mixture. Um, over here on the uh, car, the voltage is currently 12.6 volts, but it has dropped as low as 11.6 volts, I think it was. And after it gets below 12 volts, then this uh, indicator starts to blink, which is a low voltage indicator warning. So I went ahead and just opened the door on the side of the Tesla here. And by opening the door, you can then hear the contactors um, make contact with the high voltage battery, and then it recharges that. And I've done that twice now. So I've just started leaving this door open just to crack so that the interior screens stay on. And that I think will keep that from happening. And it will continuously keep charging this 12 volt battery on the Tesla to make sure that we don't run it too low because otherwise then the contactors wouldn't be able to engage with the high voltage battery pack to recharge the 12 volt battery and that would be a bad thing. So this should be going for another 20 minutes or so. Looking inside, the cream is not thick yet, so we'll let this keep going, we'll see how it goes. The uh, ice level has dropped a bit, as is expected, but the ice cream is looking pretty thick inside. It should be done fairly soon, I think. And it's pulling 55 watts, so it's definitely getting more resistance. If we switch over to current, it's pulling uh, 902 milliamps, so almost a full amp and it has been going for uh, 41 minutes and it has pulled 0.03 kilowatt hours so really not that much energy at this point. The uh, car's voltage is at 12.8 volts. So I have found just keeping the door ajar and keeping the <clears throat> internal screens on has done a great job of just keeping the voltage of this battery up continuously rather than having it run down and potentially get too low. It's now up to 61, almost 62 watts. So it's getting quite a bit of resistance for sure. Uh, the car is still at 12.8 volts with the door open, so that's good. And looking at the ice cream maker, it's starting to squeak for some reason. And the ice cream is nearly done. If you can see that, it's piling up in there for sure. So it should be done shortly. If we come back over here, uh, we've been going for 47 minutes at this point, it looks like. And still only 0.03 kilowatt hours. Oh, and almost a full amp. All right, the ice cream maker is done. And when it's done, it's pulling 77 watts. 
and it ended up taking 48 minutes to get there and it used up a total of 0.03 kilowatt hours. All right, here is the finished ice cream made from the Tesla's electricity. It is real thick. It is not turning at all. Works real good. You excited, girls? Yeah, all right, let's eat it. I hope that was informative and fun to see another thing you can do with an electric car. Thanks for watching.